Welcome to Church of Thomas. Leprosy, 722-11. Now, in the time of Jesus and before, there were Jewish temple laws and prohibitions. If you had a skin disease, you were to separate yourself out and go away from the community, and if anyone tried to approach you, you should cry unclean to warn people that you were infectious, that you were not clean in the eyes of God. Anyone who was had a pimple was not able to go into a temple because you must be of a pure appearance. You must be clean spiritually. Well, the truth about leprosy is that in those days, everyone who had a skin condition was a leper. Well, now we know that there's eczema and psoriasis and allergies and hives and bug bites and uh, measles and mumps and chicken pox, and some of them are contagious. But leprosy in and of itself is a very, very slow-growing bacteria. Even people who become infected take five to ten years to even start developing symptoms. It is a devastating disease, and there are ways of fighting it, and there have been inroads into fighting it. But the concept of leprosy as being the ultimate in unclean has been out there. I recently had an experience. I was helping my mom do her spring yard cleaning, and one of the things that happened was that apparently some poison ivy had started growing in her rose bush area. Well, being really careful and trying to just get in there as quickly as possible and nip off everything that wasn't a rose bush, I got in there and didn't realize that I had basically covered my entire face with the oil from the poison ivy. And it is this oil that causes uh, the reaction to poison ivy that many people have, and I happen to be one of them that gets a very bad reaction. Well, when I looked in my, uh, at myself in the mirror the next day, my eyes were almost closed, I had big red welts all over my face, I looked like Quasimodo. I felt embarrassed, and on a basic level I even felt unclean. Now, my mom doesn't get around very well anymore, and we had to go to the grocery store. Now, I was embarrassed about it, but I went anyway. And unfortunately, I got feedback that verified my internalization of this way that I looked. Even though I was not contagious, I wasn't going to give this to anybody, and I was miserable. I was in pain. But almost everybody I met took steps back, looked at me like I had some horrible disease, even though in Texas I'm pretty sure about a third of them probably have had poison ivy. But it was their reaction that started me thinking that even though I wasn't contagious, the concept of being unclean was still there. I want people to understand that by ostracizing people who are in discomfort, in pain, without knowing all the facts. If you know because someone has told you, I have this deadly disease that this rash is a manifestation of and you should stay away from me, that's one thing. But addressing everybody before you know the whole facts with compassion and comfort and acceptance and empathy is a much better way of dealing with it because we have moved past the Judaic laws of unclean even though I had internalized it. Many people who have disfigurements feel unclean because of the feedback they have gotten from society. This is not the Christian way. If someone is hurting or ill it is time to comfort them, not to make them feel like they should be on the edge of the community crying out 
unclean, unclean. God bless the whole world, no exceptions. Angel Eliza.